Hello guys, so let's talk about the intuition of binary search. Uh, so in this question, we are given a sorted array and we have to find the target element. And if the target element is present in our array, then we have to return its index. Otherwise, we have to return minus one. For example, in this test case, we are given a nums array and a target which is equivalent to nine. So if we see in this nums array, nine is present. So we have to uh, return the index of that element and which is in this case uh, 4 uh, suppose we are given this array or this nums array and uh, the target is 2 so as we can see that in our sorted array 2 is not present so we are going to simply return minus 1 so the first approach is to linearly traverse the array and check each element and uh, we will check each element if it is equals to 9 or not and if it is equals to 9 then we will simply return the index and otherwise we will return minus 1. Let's talk about this example. So if we have this we are going to maintain two pointers one is i which is going to point at the index 0 and the other pointer which is equals to j and let's see 0 1 2 3 4 5. So J is pointing at the last element and I is pointing at the first element. So initially this I comma J is a range and we want to find the target which is equals to 9. So we are assuming that maybe our target lies in this range. So we find the mid 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 which is equal to 0 plus 5 divided by 2 which is 2.5 and rounded off to 2. So we will check 2 index 0 1 2 so the element at the index 2 is 3 so we know that our array is sorted so all the elements before 3 are smaller than 3 and we know that our target is greater than 3 so uh, we are sure that our target will lie to the right of 3 we know our target is 9 so we are sure that 9 is greater than 3 so we are sure that our range should be this 5 9 12 so we change our i to next element which is equal to 3 now our i is 3 and j is 5 so 0 1 2 3 so i is pointing at this element and j is pointing at this element so this is our new range so what does this range mean this range mean that our target element might might lie in this part or in this range so our mid when we find the new mid it comes out to be 5 plus 3 divided by 2 which is equals to 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 so our mid is pointing at this element now and we will simply return the target index which is equals to 4 in this case mid is 4 so suppose our target is 8 in this case so i is 0 and j is uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 so our mid comes out to be 0 1 2 so we know that our target element is greater than our mid element currently our i is pointing at this element mid is pointing at this element and the j is pointing at this element and our target is 8 so we know that 8 is greater than 3 so for sure we are we can say that our target will lie to the right of 3 so we will check in this range we know that 8 will lie somewhere here we do not know but it might lie here so we will change our range and our new i becomes 3 and j is still at the position 5 so this is our new range now i is pointing at this element and j is pointing at this element so we find the new mid new mid is what i is here j is here new mid comes out to be 4 i plus j divided by 2 which is equals to 4 so this is pointing at this element our new mid is pointing at element 9 our i is pointing at 5 and j is pointing at 12 so we know for sure our target is uh, smaller than 9 so our answer will be to the left of 9 so we will shrink our range and our new J will become 3 and I is also 3 so both are pointing at this element so this means that uh, 
this is the only possible range for our element and we check that this 5 is not equal to our element so we will simply return minus 1 this is the complete logic or you can say intuition behind why binary search works so you can see that uh, we are trying to find the position of that element or you can say we are trying to find the element using binary search because our array is sorted and in case if we are unable to find the element we will simply return minus 1 so thank you for watching